I'm gonna put my two cents in about being a Gen X. <laughs> I mean, my lands, you Y's and Z's don't get it. You need to leave us alone. I mean, we may not look it. We may not act like it. But you don't want to mess with us. We're chill. We're minding our own business. And we get involved when we need to get involved. Don't be trying to poke the bear. I'm trying to figure us out. I'm trying to get us involved. <laughs> It'll take a little bit. But if you poke enough, we're going to come unleashed. I mean, we're raised different. If we were, can even be considered raised at all. And we played outside. <laughs> we played outside. Our playgrounds were made of concrete and asphalt. That's right. And we played and we fell. And we cut our heads open. And we got knocked down off of swings. I mean, the playground's made today. And the kids are still getting more hurt. On these rubberized playgrounds. I mean, we would be on the jungle gym, 15 feet in the air, running around like a bunch of monkeys. <laughs> we'd be on that merry-go-round, that death circle. And we'd have that thing going, felt like 100 miles an hour, kids flying off all the time. We played football on hard ground Covered with rocks. I mean, not a layer of rocks that was kind of soft. I mean, hard ground that had pebbles all over the place. We would play tackle football. We would run around on an asphalt playground, all recess, running relays, getting ready for track. <laughs> we rode our bikes everywhere we went. I mean, we'd go swimming, or we'd go to the friend's house, we'd ride all over the neighborhood, we probably rode 5, 10, 15, 20 miles a day on our bikes. And when we did have some playtime inside, it was on the Atari 2600. And we played for a limited amount of time with our parents. We came in when the lights came on outside or when the sun went down. There was actual reminders on the TV to tell parents, hey, it's time to check for your kids. And you hear this one a lot, but it's so true. We drank from the hose. <laughs> Didn't even think about it. And nobody had to tell us to drink water. We were drinking water all the time. But you know what? We were drinking Mountain Dews and Kool-Aid. And... Oh, I remember riding my bike... <laughs> with my brothers and our neighbor friends sticking our legs out on the sidewalk and riding our bikes over each other's legs. Yeah. Throwing lawn darts up in the air. Man. And you guys want to ask about us. You want to ask about how we not involved. You want to ask about how we got out of this. Man, we could become feral pretty quick. Um, we didn't get offended. <laughs> Getting offended. Now, we tried to offend each other, and then we'd laugh it off. We would, tr man, mama jokes and all kinds of jokes and zit jokes, and <laughs> we'd get in fights with our friends. Physical fights with our friends, biting each other's ears. Or we'd get in fights with the enemy and then they'd become our friend. 
Yeah, I got beat up by bullies a couple times, and they became my friends. I was never a bully, but I'm telling you what not. There's part of me that thinks we ought to bring back bullying. Because you new generations, you got no... No fears. Of, you got no challenges in your life. I mean, some of us, we had to... We had to worry about the bullies in school. We had to worry about how to be strategic uh, to avoid them. And we had to learn how to fight. So I don't know. I'm seeing all kinds of videos of you uh, newer generations, you snowflake generation wanting to get on us Generation Xers and try to figure us out. I'm, I'm telling you, you don't want to figure us out. You just need to leave us alone. And when necessary, we'll be there for you. You can trust on us. You can rely on us. But don't poke at us.